Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki, known here as the One-Handed Bandit. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello and welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you enjoy and make sure that you click the subscribe button and also the notification button so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos. And I look a little crazy because I was going to just go ahead and do my makeup and not record. But I figured why not just go ahead and click the camera on. So i um, not sure where I'm going with this. But I just got my Juvia's Place concealers. I had ordered another set. I ordered number 13 and number 7 for contour and number 13 for highlight. Number 12 was very close to my skin tone, so I decided to go a shade lighter. So the higher the number, the lighter, and the lower the number, the darker. So I went ahead and I was putting on my Juvia's Place concealer in number 13. I've already added it to this eye. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it on the other. And what I did was I patted it out with my P. Louise brush. And the looks of it is going to be a really nice, not contour, it's going to be a really nice highlight shade for me. Because as you can see, it's really light on my lid. So it'll be a very nice highlight for under my eyes. So I'll also be using some of Juvia's Place's uh, eyeshadow palettes as well. And I'm not going to set that concealer because I don't normally do. So I'm going in with the Warrior 2 palette. And let's see. I'm going to use this shade here. I cannot pr pronounce the name so I'm not even going to try. And actually my lips feel dry. Let me put on some lip balm. I'm putting on the Fenty Beauty Pro Kisser Lip Balm. Okay, black to blending. So now that that is all blended out, I am going to, I'm trying to decide if I want to use the Saharan 2 palette because the, the Warrior 2 palette, it has a lot of mattes, but I think I want to add some uh, shimmer on my eyelid. So let me stay in the Warrior 2 palette. And I'm going to that second shade in that row, this one here. And I'm just going to add that just below the last shade. Kind of looks very similar to the first shade. I don't know. I am probably going to go ahead and do a cut crease. Cut creases are so easy for me to do. Less work. But I don't mind doing uh, more detailed and intricate looks. But for today, I'm not going to go very intricate.
that can go a little deeper. So I'm going to go in with the Saharan 2 palette and I'm going to use this burgundy shade. No, that's not where I wanted to go, but I'm going to keep going. I'm not going to bring it all the way in. Going back in with that first brush and just blending nothing more on the brush. Next with this same brush, I'm going to take the chocolate brown shade right next to the burgundy and I'm going to add that to the outer portion of my eye. This is going way left. So I wanted it to be a little deeper. So I'm going to go in with the black from the Warrior 2 palette. And I'm just going to wipe off the excess off of my brush. And then I'm just going to blend that black. And going back in with the first brush and making sure all of that is well blended. And I'll deepen up that black in a moment. So I'm going to cut the crease with the same Julius Place concealer. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush like that and just carve out the crease. And I always pray that my cut creases are even. Sometimes one can be higher than the other. Okay, I'm taking my Saharan 2 palette and I'm going to go in with this first shade right here. So now that I have the shadow all over my lid, I am going to add some glitter liner. This is a random glitter liner that I got from Amazon. It was a pack of maybe uh, 10 in there, but you can use any color. It is very similar to the shadow that I have on my lid. my eyes open because I have hooded lids and if I uh, let them close it would transfer so I'm like <laughs> stretching my face to keep it open. And now I just have to let it dry before I can relax my face. Trying to not look up because I don't want it to transfer. Oh gosh, this is so hard. While I'm waiting for that to grind, I'm going to use my liquid liner just to line my lids. I'm 
pop on these lashes by more lashes they are in the style drama queen for primer i'm going to use the beauty bakery primer oil i'm not too dry today so i'm not gonna put a lot And this primer pairs very, very well with their foundation. And that's what I'll also be using today is my Beauty Bakery Cake Mix Foundation. And I'm just going to do maybe two pumps on the back of my hand. It is a little spread out, so... And I'm using a Morphe E6 brush. I also have the Beauty Bakery Concealer as well, but it is very close to my skin tone and I kind of want a highlighted look today. So I won't be using that. I'm going to use my Milani Concealer in Natural Sand. So now that the concealer is all blended out, I am going to use my Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in yellow. So uh, as I think I mentioned it before, I picked up the Juvia's Place Concealer in number 7 for contour. And I'm going to use that to contour out my cheeks. And I'm going to try it on my nose as well. So. And I will be doing a full video with uh, Juvia's Place foundation, concealer, um, and their setting powder, as well as the brush as well. And uh, I'm just waiting for the rest of my products to get to me. I got the brush today and uh, these two concealers. Extremely light on my nose, just in case it's darker than what I prefer. Okay, so I'm just going to use this brush that I normally use to contour and just blend that out. I'm not good with cream contour as you can see, so I'm trying. I'm going to go back and blend that out, but I just want to blend out my nose. did good with picking out a contour shade for my face. I think for my nose it could be a little lighter, but it's not bad at all. Just got to do a lot of blending. And to set the Juvia's contour in place, I'm going to use my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going to use this deep shade. For my cheeks and then the lighter shade for my nose because I like my nose to be a little light. Don't worry, all of this will blend in in a moment. And just using my powder brush to brush away that excess powder. And to set my entire face, I'm going to use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. Um, it would help if I turned it around. This one. For blush, I'm going to use this old MAC blush in the shade Fleeting Romance. I'm just going to 
to finish up the rest of my eye, I am going to use the deep burgundy shade on my bottom lash line. This one. For highlight, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Heroin 1 highlight. nose contour looks a little crazy but everything else seems to be turning out awesome okay so for lip line I feel like I've been using this every day since I got it this is a uh, BFF4 by makeup Shayla and Colourpop new uh liquid lip and this is by juvia's place and this is in the shade candace and this is the matte one it comes with two a matte and a metallic so that is it that is the final look today i hope that you have enjoyed and make sure that you are subscribed so that you can be notified whenever I upload videos and I will see you in my next video. Also, make sure that you're following me on Instagram, The Real One Handed Bandit, and I'll see you in the next one.